Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer. This session is designed for our intermediate level players and it's going to work on first touch. Our warm up is going to be in a 24 by 24 yard grid with each player either partner and one ball. They're going to situate themselves within the square that you've created and they're going to start by passing the balls around the cones that have been set up 5 yards apart. The idea is that receiving player will receive the ball and then move it to the opposite side, play a ball and such on. When the players get the rhythm we can challenge our players to do this in one touch. Make sure you reverse the direction so that we're working on both feet and then the progressions that we can do are aerial balls and use the different surfaces of our feet for different kind of passes. Making it easy, we're going to decrease the distance between the cones and harder, we're going to increase the area. And we can add the different aerial balls that we talked about before. The coaching points are on the session plan, which you should familiarise yourself with. In the second part of our session on the same size grid, divide your team into two. Half of the team are going to go to the outside with balls and then the middle players are not going to have a ball. The idea of the drill is that the middle players check into an outside player, receive the ball, Control it, give it back, and then go to a different player as quickly as possible. We want to try and create this at match speed, so we're going to try and ask our players to do it well. They're going to work for 60 seconds. Make sure you're switching over. You can challenge your players by asking them to do it with their weak foot, the different surface of the foot, and you can also ask the outside players to use throw-ins or different kind of throws to work on aerial balls. Making it easy, you can allow the receivers to take more touches. Making it harder, the server plays the ball with a bounce or server plays the ball as a throw-in. The coaching points for this are also on the session plan and again, please familiarise yourself with these. In the tactical element of our game, it's going to be the same setup as above and we're going to work with opposition this time. You're going to check in, receive the ball and you're going to try and play to the outside as we did before. But this time we have different things to think about of where is the defender and where can I play to? As it's opposed. We're going to work for 60 seconds again and each pairing should get two turns. Switch roles on the next goal so that the previous receiver becomes the defender. Making it easy we can only allow the defender to shadow. Making it harder the servers can play with a bounce or they can make it harder by doing a throw in. In the last part of our session it's small sided game time. We're going to play 5v5 and we suggest that this is a good number to keep all players engaged. We don't play with no goalkeepers as we want to encourage accurate shots. To start we're going to have two boxes at each side and the idea is to play into the boxes with good control. We always allow that you should advise time for your players to just play without any instruction as this is keep them involved in the game and enjoying it. You want to make it real as possible by assigning positions, set formations and help players understand their roles within the game. Please familiarise yourself with the coaching summary that is also on the session plan. Thank you very much for watching and for more videos like this and for the session plan to go along with this visit p2.soccer.